and welcome to the dentist up today's video is about some of the important syndromes in oral pathology let's begin with the ramsey hunt syndrome it is a special form of zoster infection of geniculate ganglion with the involvement of external ear and oral mucosa the clinical features include facial paralysis pain of external auditory meatus and pinna of ear Vesicular eruptions occurring in oropharynx, pinna of ear, oral cavity with hoarseness of voice, tinnitus and vertigo. Another syndrome is the Albright syndrome. It is also called as the McKeown-Albright syndrome and is seen in association with fibrous dysplasia. It is a genetic disorder of bones with skin pigmentation and hormonal problems with premature sexual development. Clinical features include fibrous dysplasia with fractures and deformities of legs, arms and skull, cephalate spots on skin and endocrine defects with early puberty and increased growth rate. Coming to the Reiter syndrome. It is associated with urethritis, balanitis, conjunctivitis and mucocutaneous lesions. It is more prevalent in young adult men between 20 to 30 years. Palatal lesions appear as small bright red purpuric spots which darken and coalesce. There is also geographic tongue in affected individuals. The Pierre Robin syndrome. It is a classic triad of micrognathia, glossoptosis and cleft palate. The affected neonates suffer with airway obstruction and feeding difficulties. Other findings include otitis media, hearing loss and nasal deformities. The Garland Gold Syndrome It is also called as the Bifid Rib Syndrome and is complex with variety of abnormalities. It is an autosomal dominant trait and is associated with a classic triad of multiple basal cell carcinomas, keratocystic odontogenic tumors, and bifid ribs. So that's about few important syndromes in oral pathology. Make sure you go through them before exams. Do like, share and subscribe to the Dentist Hub for more updates.